A Menominee woman who struggled with drugs and alcohol is now a substance abuse counselor at the Dunn County Jail. She's using her experience to help inmates on their own journey to recovery. Katrina Lim has the story. To this day, the sound of a jail door opening still triggers Shelly Jo Metzger of Menominee. Within a four month period, I had nine felony charges. In 2002, she was charged with possession of methamphetamine with intent to sell. Her drugs of choice were meth and opioids and considers herself a recovering addict and alcoholic to this day. I have been in recovery for almost 18 years. It'll be 18 years in March. She served six months in jail and underwent treatment. In 2011, she became a substance abuse counselor, working in different facilities in Hudson, River Falls, Menominee, and Eau Claire. In 2021, I, be, I was pardoned by the Wisconsin governor, um, which basically allowed me to work in the jail setting. So in October of 2022, she began working as a substance abuse counselor in the Dunn County Jail. What do you think? She works with inmates one-on-one -on -one or in groups, talking through ways to prevent relapse. What I want to work with them for is to ensure that they have someplace safe to go, ensure that they you know, are working on an actual recovery plan. So I've actually named it a care plan. Metzger's position was newly created as part of a medication-assisted treatment program in the jail. A $150,000 grant from the Wisconsin Department of Justice funds the program and Metzger's job. I think Shelly Jo really provides hope to the inmates. They're able to see that she has transformed her life, that she was on one side of the, the, the bars and now on another. It does help with these inmates for them to know that I've been in jail, and particularly this jail, um, because they know that I know what they're going through. Research shows drugs and alcohol were the top reasons they had inmates, so jail officials said it was time they invested in a substance abuse counselor. The result is there's less likely chance that they're going to come back into our jail. We call that recidivism. Um, if they can break that cycle of drug and alcohol abuse, um, it can really reduce the crime and the number of people that we have in jail. For those struggling with addiction, Metzger says, don't be afraid to accept help. We're pretty stubborn and we think we can do it by ourselves. Take whatever is being offered to you. That was Katrina Lim reporting. Officials say they plan to reapply for the grant that funds Metzger's position or apply for a different federal grant to continue the program.